and welcome to another Championship Belt Mock Showcase video. My name is Luke Trison and today I present to you the goofiest belt I have made so far, Ted DiBiase's Million Dollar Championship. So this belt was introduced when Ted DiBiase failed to win the World Heavyweight Championship and this has been a gimmick to his character. It does classify as an actual title as there have been more people than just Ted DiBiase who have held this title. Off the top of my head, I can name Virgil, there was LA Knight and Cameron Grimes. There might be one more... Oh yeah, Steve Austin held it for a while. I remember that one, he was... What was it the Ringmaster? God, the old days. A bit before my time, but the belt itself was something I thought, you know what? I need something very different in my collection. Let's go for this. So as bizarre and out there as this design is, there really isn't that much to go over. It's kind of a simple design in its own way. So the Million Dollar Championship kind of does what it says on the tin. It's very ludicrous with money logos and whatever else. So the only thing to really go over with at least some major detail will be the dollar signs in the middle. So you can see here, these are actual dollar signs. And these turned out quite well, but this is not what it's supposed to be. On the actual championship belts, the dollar signs are kind of filled in shapes. I went over a dozen different designs using plates and I was just not satisfied at all. So I had to take some creative liberty and turn them into actual dollar signs, and frankly, this looks way better. So the funniest thing about these orders, I had to make, what was it, three or four orders with hundreds of these one by one glitter pieces. You can't actually see them because it's so tiny, but it's a one by one transparent clear tile. It's a round tile, of course, with these tiny little glitter details on them. It's from a dots set. I don't know which one, but I saw the piece. I thought, you know what, let's go for that. It looks excellent. And the grey background, well, the camera here doesn't really do it justice, but in person and with closer details, you can actually see how well the glitter works. Obviously, there's not that much in the actual piece itself, but with this entire sea of tiles, it's a really cool thing to look at. So the belt actually first started with the strap. I wanted to make sure I could actually get this design finalised before I went ahead on the main plate. So this is such a different title because there isn't a strap where you've got side plates, no. The actual strap is more dollar sign logos and frankly that's kind of cool. It's so different. Ah, it's, it's so unique. It's so gimmicky. I love that kind of thing. So this was something that was going to be weak. I knew that straight away because when you look at this, obviously it's got two hinge points, which is good. Thankfully it allows me to make that work. But at the same time, if I was going to lift this up, I've got to grab onto the main plate. So I wanted to make the dollar sign kind of simple. So we're going to use loads of two wide bricks. We're going to use some chunky slope bricks. We can tidy up afterwards, but that's how we're going to make this work. And thankfully it did work. Trying to be a bit careful here as I hold up the back of the main plate. And yes, you can see it's completely blank. There's nothing really special going on here, but you can see the outline of what the plate is supposed to look like. It's not quite 100% accurate, but trying to find out the actual silhouette. It's a bit difficult, I've got to be honest, those dollar signs do get in the way, but I do know that there are these kind of points on the top and bottom near the middle of the actual plate itself. I've never had to order so many yellow bricks before. Tiles, yes, because of the other belts, you know, the actual plates itself. But this, <laughs> that's such a weird thing for me to look at. So much yellow, my goodness. So when I go to actually hold this up, you know, as if I'm going to pose with it, it's not that difficult. There's plenty of space on the main plate to actually grab a hold of it. But this is the point in our program where I need to put this on my shoulder. And I have to be especially careful because having built this, I can feel some of the weaker points on the top dollar sign there. I can feel it coming apart just a tiny bit, but it's not enough to actually break it. Again, it's much more fragile given the nature of the build. But this on my shoulder is completely ridiculous. <laughs> but yes, it is entirely possible. This center plate as well is the biggest one by far. The other big one I've got is for the Undisputed Championship, but this by far and away is just huge. It's actually ridiculous. One of the daftest things about making this belt as well, Ted DiBiase's theme song is all about money, of course, but I keep singing Shane McMahon's theme song. It's not for him, it's for Ted. <laughs> but then again, another version of this could definitely, but maybe we can, well, the dollar sign is different, so technically this is a different variant. We can give this to Shane, maybe? I don't know. So whilst that is it for showcasing the mock, we are not quite done yet. And there is a big announcement in regards to these championship belts. So I recently decided to start taking commissions for these belts. 
So the belts I've made at the moment, the four that I actually have in my collection, are not for sale, but if you want your own version, I will happily take a commission and build one for you. So I have made a post a day or two ago in regards to all of the details, and I've also made a YouTube short that should be going up at the same time as this. So yes, obviously these belts have been getting quite a lot of good reception both here online and at LEGO shows that I've taken these to as well. On the 18th and 19th of November, which was not that long ago for me as I record this, I did Bristol Brick Show, which is my club's biggest show of the year, which I took these belts to. They got so much reception and I was so thankful to the public for that. So if you want your own full size like a championship belt, I will happily make one for you. Once again, all the details will be linked in the description down below, so keep an eye out for those. And that is it for this video. Thank you all so much for watching. In the description, you can find links to my Discord server and my Instagram if you want to follow me on more social media pages. Make sure you subscribe if you have not already for a lot more LEGO fun stuff, and I will see you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.